This video is going to help increase your understanding of where our fiat system is taking us, what actions we could be taking today to prepare us so that we are in a better position to handle and deal with our ongoing changes. Be sure to subscribe. You're not going to want to miss upcoming content. Please give this video a like. Thank you. At the time of this recording, the Fed's spokesman, chairman have you, Mr. Powell, is moving his lips. Soon we will learn of his announcement. Soon we will learn which way he moved his hand, and the markets will react. Now, they may not necessarily react as soon as today, but we could see a reaction as early as tomorrow, Wednesday, January the 26th. If not, then we will definitely see a reaction by this Friday, the 28th. Now, most of us have a hunch as to the words uh, that are coming out of Mr. Powell's lips right now, but one thing we know for sure is that he will not say, we're screwed, we're really screwed, sell everything, and run for the hills. No, he will not say that. Instead, what he does say, where he does move his hand, will drive up the markets. Now, during this past two weeks, uh, the 99% have been selling, dumping their stocks and cryptos for obvious reasons, while the 1% has been buying up stocks and cryptocurrencies for obvious reasons, as the rich continue to get richer and the poor continue to get poor. My friends, we shouldn't only care about the numbers. We really do need to study the history of corruption, because I believe that's what we are witnessing now, and I believe that's what we are going to witness unfold before our eyes. As I keep saying in my previous videos, we need to prepare ourselves for any case scenario, all cases, because we the people do not decide our fate of our money, of our existing current fiat system. We have no say in the matter. As you know, others are pulling the strings and we just tag along and we just go with whatever they decide, which is why I'm always saying we need to buy and invest in precious metals such as gold and silver. We're not really investing. We're not really buying into silver and gold. We're actually exchanging. We're trading. We're trading our fiat system. We're trading our money for real money. It's like an exchange when you're exchanging between countries and different currencies. Gold and silver has always been real money. Most of us, we get caught up in the numbers. We, we get caught up on the little ticker that keeps showing us that the, the prices of, of gold and silver just keep going up and down, up and down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. The downfall to all these numbers constantly going up and down is it, is it does. It creates hesitation. It creates anxiety because most Americans don't have money that they feel like they, they could, how they see it, gamble. A lot of Americans see buying and or exchanging their currency for gold and silver, they, they see it as a gamble. They don't see it as a guarantee. And that's what most people want. Most people want a guarantee. Most people are used to the idea of, of receiving a guarantee, you know, backed by the U.S. government. Bonds, have you. Certifications. Everybody likes the idea of a guarantee. Everybody likes the idea of customer satisfaction. So if they're doing business with a private company, if they're not happy, they get their money back, right? That's what we are all used to. We've been programmed like spoiled brats. That's how the outsiders of our nation look at us. They, they look at us like we're spoiled brats. We're just used to having things handed to us. We're used to the easy life. And I'll tell you, it's not because our society is the smartest of societies around the world, but because the feds decide to give us money. The feds continue to give us money. Lenders give us money so we get to enjoy this life of great abundance. We know in Eastern Europe, there are a lot of highly educated individuals out there in and Eastern Europe, but yet so many of them are so poor. They do not have money coming in. They don't get their free handouts. So a lot of these third world countries out there in the Eastern part of Europe territory, while they're so highly educated, they live very poor because the central banking system decides that we Americans continue to get all the money and all the credit. Well, it's our politicians who decide to, to hand out money to us, but it's the feds that decide to continue to give our country all this money. Money. Wealth flourishes, wealth grows where credit is provided. Now, during these last few videos, I've received a lot of questions, people asking, you know, economic friend, you know, 
when the S hits the fan, we come to this great reset. Our fiat system fails. We go back to the gold standard. Who is going to decide? Who is going to determine the value of the gold and silver? How will this work? It's obvious that a lot of people are very concerned about that. They, they, they worry about a lack of order and worry that we will just be consumed with chaos. And possibly. But here's my short, simple answer for that. That is, we have no way of knowing we, we don't know what, what state things will be in. We, we don't know how bad things would be. But my longer answer is this. You've got to study some history. We need to get off the high horse in believing that we are smarter and that we are better than those who went before us. If you open up the history books, history goes back as far as 5,000 years. Nations have risen and nations have fallen, all for the sake of money and for the sake of power, through corruption and through manipulation, rebellion, and then the rebirth of a new nation. I think it would be very foolish and unwise for us to just continue to put all of our trust in those who are pulling the strings and making decisions for us, and to assume they have their best interest for us they have our interest in mind. As far as the the reset, you know, getting back on a gold standard and d to determine the value of things, I, I would imagine that would be left up to a merchant. I, I, I would like, like before, you know, a uh, how it's always been done. I believe a merchant will decide what their goods are worth, what their goods are valued at, or their services, and either you pay or you don't. Either you don't have enough to pay for their goods, or you do. And from their perspective, if you don't have enough for their goods, then they don't sell to you, and they'll sell to someone who can. No different than if you were to sell some goods through classified local ads, or if you were to hold your old garage sale or yard sale, if people still do that. I don't know. I, but I imagine if you're 30, years or older today, I'm sure you have seen, you have witnessed, you have been to a garage sale or a yard sale, or perhaps you even hosted one yourself, or you went to a yard sale or garage sale before, flea markets, whatever. But I, I, I wouldn't really get caught up in worrying about how things will pan out 10 years from now, five years from now, who knows when. I always say gold and silver is a hedge against inflation. It's a preservation of our wealth. It's a great long-term insurance to have. With, with all the manipulation going on, I, I, you know, I would not feel safe saying that silver and gold is a wise short-term investment, meaning as in you shouldn't buy silver and gold today with the intent that you're going to turn around and resell it in the near future for profit. Hey, honey, I just sold that brick of gold that we bought a few months ago, and we just made 22% profit. I don't think gold and silver is this kind of an investment. It's an insurance. It's to preserve any kind of wealth. And I believe it's something that we should just have. No differently than if you go ahead and you buy extra food to have food on hand or, or toilet paper. Most of you can probably uh, relate to toilet paper. You know, people are going out buying extra toilet paper. You know, a lot of us have been stocking up on food storage, water storage, medical emergency supplies for years. A lot of this food and storage has not been used. Some of it's gone bad. I've I've had to throw some stuff out. Does that mean I stop buying food, canned foods? Does that mean I stop buying dry freezer foods? Does that mean I stop filling up those 55-gallon jugs of water? Does that mean I stop buying uh, first aid kits, uh, medical emergency supplies? No, because I want to be able to have them if I'm going to need them. It's the same thing with silver and gold. The nice thing about silver and gold is that it doesn't have an expiration date on it. It's not going to de decompose. It's not going to go bad. People stock up on uh, hard liquor. Some people st stack up on uh, ammo, tobacco, even though tobacco doesn't have a very long shelf life. But there are so many things that, that people are stacking up on that are goods that could be used for trade. And I personally believe having gold and silver on hand is, is a great idea. I think it's a great insurance. I believe it's a wise long-term investment or exchange if you have you. If you don't like the word investment when it comes to gold and silver, that's fine. You're exchanging it. But as I have always said since the birth of this economic friend channel, buy, exchange responsibly. Don't you dare go out and pull out a line of credit to go buy gold and silver. That would not be wise. Instead, we need to be finding, uh, exploring avenues on how we can be eliminating our debt. I would not go crazy in, in, in exchanging your, your uh, currency for gold and silver if you have a, a bunch of mounting revolving credit, a lot of debt. 
Maybe I'd recommend maybe having about five ounces of silver just to avoid panic when the S hits the fam. How much is five ounces of silver going to cost you? Less than $150. Not very much money. So get your hands on five ounces of silver and then put all your focus on trying to do what you can to pay down and to pay off to eliminate your debts. Just a reminder, you know, I, I am not a financial advisor. I do not give legal advice, but that's what I would do and that is what I am doing. From a friend to a friend, that's what I would recommend. If you're new to my channel and there's a lot of my videos you have not seen, I've got over a hundred videos with lots of really good information. They're all in categories. You can read the topics. I highly recommend you, you subscribe. It would be very nice if you'd give this video a like. Go to my video section and look down at my long list of videos that I have provided on this topic of silver and gold. I provide lots of really helpful ideas on how to build a community around you, to surround yourself with those who you would like to be surrounded with as this world continues to head in that direction of change there's no there's no denying you know you know I, i'm a middle-aged man and, and just in the short time i've been alive i have witnessed many changes throughout society in the way we do business money so we can't deny the fact that that we are constantly evolving and we are constantly changing the way we do business the way the world goes round and round how we get money, how we pay for our bills. I'm a father, I'm a husband. I don't want to put a number on it, but we've got a good amount of children. I worry about my children all the time. I, I worry about the direction that everything is going. So since I have that added responsibility as a father, as a provider, this is why I take this topic so passionately. This is why I take this topic so seriously, because it is my responsibility to provide for them. It is my responsibility to protect them. Please share your thoughts below. I'd love Love reading comments. I do my best to respond to all, but I'm not able to respond to everyone, but I've been responding to most. But I do know that others like to read others' comments as well. I'm always saying, read other people's comments, learn from others, hear what others are saying, take the time to think and to reevaluate or to evaluate your current situation, what your needs are, where you need to go, where you need to be, and then you have to decide for yourself what course of action you're going to have to take to get to where you feel like you would feel safe, where you are providing for yourself and or your family. I hope that all of you will see this channel, Economic Friend, as another helpful source, another tool where to gather ideas and thoughts. And I hope you guys will find the information here helpful to you in helping you make decisions. But the time to just sit idle and to watch uh, and see what others are doing has passed us. It is time for us to take action. It's time for us to, to make improvements for ourselves. It's time to reposition ourselves so that we can be in a better position to care for ourselves and to provide for others that we need to provide for. But the more of us that are willing to roll up our sleeves and to, to take action, to be men and women of action as a large collective body of people, the more we'll be able to strengthen our community as a people. As a people, we cannot afford to just sit and wait to see what the government is going to do for us. And unfortunately, so many of us, too many of us have gotten used to that, waiting for the government to make decisions for us. Thank you everyone for listening to this video. I greatly appreciate your support. May we all find success and prosperity. May we all be helpful to one another. You're not going to want to miss my next video, so stay tuned. I hope to have this other video up tomorrow. I'll see you guys in my next video.